Well, if you hear men use such strange-sounding terms as dabs, tacky and clockwork mouse, it's guaranteed that the men talking are motorcycle trials riders. Now, it's a language which defies the understanding of a stranger, almost as these men appear to defy gravity on their motorcycles. This is Roger Chaplin, a competitive rider since the age of 16 with the Mot Sudbury Motorcycle Club. Roger, what is the basic difference between these bikes and any other motorbikes? Well, a lot of them, of course. There's, you'll notice the tyres are a lot different. These are knobbly tyres. The pressure in them is anything from naught to three or four pounds in order to, uh, to grip and the section. The gearing is a lot lower than the road gear and the cogs are a lot closer. Um, there are one or two differences in appearance you can actually see. The whole thing seems higher off the ground. Yes, it's higher off the ground because there's a high ground clearance to go over rock slabs or anything like that. So you don't ground the crankcases and smash them. What sort of engines are they? These, basically, these are two strokes. These are the modern thing. 250 is the main thing. But there is the mini bike in the market, which are 125s or 175s, which are different characteristics completely to these. For the two-stroke engine, uh, it has only come in fairly recently, hasn't it? Well, it's nearly 10 years, probably more, they've been in. Because they are, they've got the versatility, versatility in them rather than the four-stroke. Oh, well, that's a bit about the bike. What about the riding itself? What, what does the course consist of? Well, the, the course can consist of anything, really. There's a nice stream bed, a rocky gully, rock, uh, sort of, a step to climb up. That's steep, by the way, a couple of feet. Yes, a short, sharp climb, or a sandy climb. Anything like this will you have to use first or second gear. Really, you have to look at the hazard and decide what gear to use. Sounds like you, you like it really tough. But, w but what are you actually trying to do when you're negotiating these courses, which I presume are, are being watched all the time by judges? Yes, we have what we call is the observed section. There is an observer on every section who marks you over this section. We do it for the fun of it, of course. Is this a rich man's sport, in fact? Well, this is the poor man's sport of the motorcycle world, we say. Um, the way prices are going, it eventually might be a rich man's sport. The bikes are sort of getting dearer and dearer. But can you win high stakes? Well, you ride for the fun of it mostly, yeah. and you win awards, so you get um, cups, miniature cups, which you um, can amass over a certain period. And that basically, it's just for the afternoon or morning out, really. You just enjoy yourself over the weekend. You've got the East of England trials starting at Sudbury in a couple of, well, next month, I think, isn't it? Yes, 28th of February it is. It's the second one we've held, and we're very pleased to have this. Riders from all over Britain coming in? Yes, we, uh, this is open to everyone in Great Britain, and we get them, certainly. And we're hoping to make it a bigger and better event than last year. I think this is rather special in that it, it will run for, what, 50 miles? Isn't yes, we've got a one-lap, 50-mile course. It will take the riders about five hours non-stop. They'll keep going, they won't stop for anything in between, only for breakdowns, if any. That's but a long time in the saddle. Now, what will the rider's eye view of that course be? What, what will he be trying to achieve? Well, he'll be trying to, every section is to clean every section, or lose as least marks as possible. Like the top man will literally be trying to clean every section and to this win. This is where the term dabs comes in, I reckon. Well, yes, um, if they go to the section without dropping, there's no marks lost. If they put their foot down once, it's known as a dab, they lose one mark. And of course, if they do it two times, it's two marks. And three or more, we know as footing, they lose three marks. But if they stop altogether in the section, or do something they shouldn't, and um, like knock over a marker, it's five marks. And that's the maximum penalty in any one section. So the secret is balance, presumably, and yes. throttle control. Balance, you have to stand up on the footrest, throttle control, clutch control when needed, and balance. Any other points which you can bring out which will illustrate what, is, what a rider has to do? Um, I've got to be confident, I think, and uh, try everything. Although, to start with, he might mess it up, but you gain from experience. Well, talking about experience, how soon should somebody start to uh, ride these motorbikes if they want to be an expert? Well, I think as soon as their parents are ready, let them ride to get some practice on the run. That does them a lot of good, especially when they start to ride on the road. But they can't start active competition with steam. 
Well, perhaps I could try my hand at it, although I'm a little more than 16. Oh, certainly. If you'd like to start the bike up, get used to it, we'll find you a little section to try. The name of the game is Trials. Seems to me I'm making all the errors. <laughs> 